First, as a reflection of our recognition of the deep history and culture of this island, I wish to acknowledge the traditional owners, the Palawa people of the land on which we stand today, Lutruita, and pay my respects to their elders past, present and emerging. We acknowledge the Tasmanian Aboriginal people who have survived invasion and dispossession and continue to maintain their identity, culture and Aboriginal rights. Ladies and gentlemen, it is clear tonight that we have fallen short of our goal to win majority Labor government. A short time ago, I rang Peter Gutwin to congratulate him on his re-election and his impressive personal result. All around the country, we've seen incumbent governments rewarded for their management of COVID-19. And there is no doubt that Peter Gutwin and our public health officials kept our community safe, and tonight's result reflects that. Peter Gutwin did call an early election because he wanted this election to be about his management of COVID-19. And tonight's outcome is a strong result for the Liberal Party and Peter Gutwin's leadership. But this election has also seen the elevation of other issues that matter to Tasmanians. And it is so important that the government listens to the concerns that have been raised throughout the course of this campaign. Because the stories of Tasmanians who have been left behind cannot continue to be ignored. I hope this campaign has been a wake-up call for the Liberals that Tasmanians will not tolerate business as usual from the Liberal government. Tasmanians will not tolerate surgery waiting lists that are the worst in the country. They will not tolerate ambulance response times that are slowest in the country. And they will not tolerate Tasmanians dying in the emergency department because they can't access the health care they need. And Tasmanians will not continue to tolerate the endless infrastructure promises that are never fulfilled. Just because we have fallen short of forming government at this election, it does not mean that we will stop fighting to make Tasmania a better and a fairer place. Labor put forward a positive plan at this election to create more jobs for Tasmanians, to invest in the essential services like health and housing and education, and to make people's lives better. I'm proud of the campaign that we ran and for each of our candidates for their hard work. And I want to thank our incredible candidates who come from all walks of life and worked tirelessly knocking on doors, making calls, standing on street stalls and meeting thousands upon thousands of Tasmanians. You should all be so proud of the way that you've run your campaign. I also want to thank very much the incredible volunteers who've been tireless in their efforts to support the Labor team this election. You truly are amazing. And I want to acknowledge the members at this election who've lost their seats. And in particular, I want to acknowledge and to thank Jennifer Houston, a proud Palawa woman who has dedicated her life to her community and to thank her for her contribution to our party and our parliament. And I also want to thank my friend, Alison Standen, who's been a champion for the people of Franklin and a hard-working member of the Labor team. I don't believe that this will be the last that we see of Ali because she's such a talent and someone who has so much to offer to the Tasmanian Parliament. I also want to thank every member of our campaign team, and in particular Stuart Benson, the State Secretary, for your incredible work <laughs> and your leadership, not just through this campaign, but for a many, a many years now. And um, I thank you very much for that and your friendship. I want to thank my incredible staff, many are in this room with us today. I am in awe of your work ethic, your dedication, your compassion, and your ability to deliver outcomes for people. It is inspiring and it motivates me every single day. I want to thank my Parliamentary Labor Party colleagues, and I see some of them in this room. You are the best group of people I've ever worked with. We are a strong team and I know that together we'll keep working incredibly hard for the people who've put their trust and faith in us to represent them in the Tasmanian Parliament. Um, I am incredibly proud to call each and every one of you a friend. The Federal Parliamentary Labor Party, and in particular our Federal Labor Leader, Anthony Albanese, and members of his Shadow Cabinet who've joined us in this campaign trail here in Tasmania, 
Uh, your support, your friendship and your interest in Tasmania is well noted. Uh, we are so lucky to have a strong labour movement across the country that comes out in force to support our labour campaigns no matter where they occur. And I in particular want to thank Anthony for the work that he's done to support the Tasmanian campaign this election. And uh, of course my family, my husband Rod and my dad who are here tonight, my mum who's looking after my beautiful daughter Mia, you put up with a lot but you're always there by my side and I really couldn't do it without you, so thank you so much. We started this campaign with the promise that Labor would work hard every day for Tasmania. We may have fallen short of winning government this time around, but I want to thank all of those Tasmanians who put their faith in Labor. We won't let you down. We will continue to work hard each and every day, and we will keep standing up for those Tasmanians who deserve a fair go. Thank you, everybody.